What's up dudes, Chooch back with another video and today we're looking at this. This is the JBL Flip 4. This has become my favorite Bluetooth speaker out of all of them that I have and I've been using this thing every day for about a month and a half so far. And um, I'm gonna just give y'all a quick unboxing of it. I put it back in the box so I can show y'all the whole rundown of how it comes and everything like that, give y'all a good presentation. So right off the bat, you get this cool box, has a little magnetic flip closure on the side right here. Open this bad boy up. All your paperwork's gonna be on top right here. This is your speaker, pop this bad boy out. And um, right off the bat, whenever you get this thing, you're gonna just notice it has a really good feel to it, quality feel to it. Doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, the, the outside knit of this thing is just really, it's a durable like knit fabric all, all, all around it. Um, has a decent weight to it for sure. And um, all your volume controls and everything are right along this panel. Your uh, play, your pause, up, volume up, volume down. Right here on the back is where you're gonna have your charging port. Flip this open and you're gonna have micro USB charging, aux port as well if you just wanna plug in your phone. You're good to go that way as well. Whenever you power this thing on, it, you're gonna have a battery indicator right here with all these little lights. So just power it on, boom, you can see your battery. And uh, this button right here is for connecting them. So if you have um, any, any of the other JBL speakers in the 4 Series, the JBL Extreme 4, the Flip 4, the Charge 4, uh, you can connect up to a hundred of them. You just hold this down right here and it pairs them to, to each other and then you can have um, more sound coming from multiple speakers. You know what I mean? You can have like basically like studio speakers. If you wanted to have two of these set up next to each other, you'd have the, like the studio speaker effect, which is really cool. And uh, one way I use it that I, that I found that I, 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 the reason I got this is because it's lightweight, the sound quality is impeccable on this thing. Like, it's not gonna be the loudest Bluetooth speaker out there, but it's gonna sound incredible compared to your lower end, cheaper speakers that you can get for like 30 or 40 bucks. Your highs, your lows, your bass, everything on this is gonna be really crispy and sound great compared to like, this is a speaker I've been using for a while. And this is called the uh, Beeson right here. And this is designed so that you can put it on a bicycle. It comes with all the mounts and everything so you can rock it on your bicycle. You can put it um, in your uh, water bottle cage and you can mount it in various places like that. And one thing that I did like about this speaker is it came with a lot of uh, accessories. So it had like this thing right here which is basically, it connects to the speaker and you can run it to your handlebars and you can control your volume, your sound, you can play and pause and you can also have it has a horn on it as well so it would literally have like a loud horn on it like for riding your bike which is pretty cool but I don't have handlebars on, on what I ride and this is perfect for you guys out there that a lot of you on my channel and stuff are looking for a solution for uh, having a Bluetooth speaker while you're riding your electric unicycle and this will work for a bike as well anything really but um this thing is is great for th this for these things and you literally, the way I put it on here is I got this little piece of styrofoam and I cut out like a little trough in it and all I, I do is basically it fits right in this little slot right here and I take this bad boy and I just sit it, sit it on top up here like that and then I take just a velcro strap and you can use any velcro straps you want, I mean you can get this stuff from Home Depot or whatever, I think I got this from like a backpacking store and you literally, I just take this thing right here and wrap it right around the speaker and boom it's on there it's good to go and then the styrofoam holds it in place like it makes it where it's not going to slide around or move around or anything like that it literally holds perfect on there and uh, I'll give you all a quick little uh, little uh, sound review on this thing and y'all can just listen to how good it sounds and you just listen for how crispy it is and just listen to, to the quality of the sound. Not, necess not necessarily how loud it gets, because it gets plenty loud, like for this application right here. When you're riding around town or anything like that, it's not gonna be the point, to the point where it's annoying other people, but it's just perfect so you can hear it and you can enjoy your music. It sounds great, I really, I really like it. On the side where it has the subwoofers, you can see them actively working. Like they're, they're subwoofers actually do something on this speaker. You know what I mean? It has a great bass to it. So that's just a quick little rundown for sound. And any of y'all out there that rock the electric unicycles, I really suggest it because 
I was weary about getting this thing. I thought it would be maybe a little bit too big to mount on all my unicycles, but it works perfect on my M Super, on my King Song, on my ACM right here. Any any unicycle I, I pretty much ride, it'll work perfect. And for you that want to like mount this on a bicycle or anything like that, literally just cut out a piece of styrofoam and then get a Velcro strap and you can hook it on there. You can zip tie it. You can find any way to really mount it on a bicycle if you wanted to. But it's perfect. I think I think it's great for this application or any any other application you want to use it for. I've ridden in the rain with it. I've taken a hard fall and it's actually come off of this thing and it didn't even get messed up. Like I literally crashed on a BMX track riding this thing with the speaker on there and it was good to go. So I highly recommend it. Again, this is the uh, JBL Flip 4 right here and you can't go wrong with it. This is the other speaker I, I bought. So I've tried a bunch of different speakers, guys. So this is the Anchor. This is the premium stereo Bluetooth speaker. And I bought this, trying to use it for this application, but this thing is just way too heavy to use on an electric unicycle, and it would be hard to mount on a bike or anything like that. So I've gone through a few of them. I even have a, a, another Anchor speaker over there, and then one called a Sound Freak. But out of all of them I've tried, you can kind of see the size difference in all, all three of these right here. Out of all of them that I've tried, the JBL Flip 4 is by far the perfect speaker for electric unicycles and kind of like outdoor, you know, everyday use and stuff like that. So if y'all enjoyed the video, throw the thumbs up and I will see y'all in the next one.